Daniel's over here installing an automatic fill valve. So we have this little, I don't know, is that an eighth inch tube? Yeah. Quarter inch? I'd say quarter inch. I'd say quarter, you know? Yeah. Who's gonna who's gonna second guess us? Right? <laughs> quarter inch. Jack, show them the trick with the skimmer lid really quick. Because not yeah, everybody like, knows this. Something that I didn't know and I'm I'm blown away. So usually we use a skimmer lid to hide the skimmer and in, that'd be at the bottom of the in a pond in a skimmer. Yeah. yeah. And so actually this fits perfectly over the spillway. So what we're gonna do is I dug a little bit of this out. And all you gotta do is just, gotta, I gotta dig a little bit more out back here. Yep. I'm gonna slide this back and it fits right over the spillway. What's going on, DK? Team Aquascape, we got Jack, the kid, the myth, the legend as well. We got Corey, we got Luis. Brian is even on his way. We're on a new project today, a one day build, Pondless Waterfall. This thing is gonna be a beautiful addition to this awesome backyard. Jack, what do we got going on, bud? We got a roughly around a 15 foot Pondless that we're gonna be putting in today. So our canvas right now is gonna be wherever these black eyed Susans are at. We're gonna be pulling out these two boulders. As you can see, they're pretty heavy. We have no machine on this job site. It's all gonna be pure muscle and so it's gonna be a lot of fun we got three tons of rock out front a moose from illinois brick delivered that already so we're gonna pull these black eyed susans out she wants to keep a few for when we finish the water feature and pretty much this is the blank canvas we're gonna work with basin is gonna go right here at six aqua blocks and a little over a 15 foot pondless waterfall and the view is right there in the kitchen window so, so we've covered the project we've covered the view we've covered the one day what are we gonna do next? The biggest thing is prepping. So right now, as you can see, she has this beautiful patio out here that she just got sealed. And so she does not want, and we do not want anything to happen to it. So we're gonna pull, we're gonna move this table out of our way, move this carpet, and we're gonna put down our underlayment and our pieces of, um, our- New ultra mats. New ultra mats that we have. Ground protection mats. We're loving those as well. It's just gonna help us. So then when we're moving these rocks and we're going back and forth over this patio, we don't track anything and scrape the patio or, cause we can't power wash it without pulling up the sealer. Awesome. That's the intro to this. We're gonna get to work because Corey and Luis are kicking butt already. We're gonna go help them out, get rolling, so we'll check in soon. <laughs> We're out here in, where are we? Orland Park? Orland Park. And the last time we videotaped something over here, I, who did the morning video? Jack? Jack and Daniel? You both raised your hand. How'd you both do it? You guys were like hugging each other? Right? <laughs> Hey, so it's me and my buddy over here, and we're, <laughs> it's well after lunchtime, it's two o'clock, things are moving along. We've skipped a bunch of steps because we know you know how to put aqua blocks in. We've shown pump vaults, we've shown waterfalls. So today we're just gonna kinda put together something relatively simple for us. It's a granite boulder waterfall. I love doing these things because you get more of that babbly brook sound where the water really sticks to the rock. Daniel's over here installing an automatic fill valve. So we have this little, I don't know, is that an eighth inch tube? Mm, quarter inch? Yeah. I'd say quarter inch. I'd say quarter, you know? Yeah. Who's gonna who's gonna second guess us? Right? <laughs> quarter inch. Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, Captain Jack Sparrow up there, him and his friends. That looks good. So he's putting in a little line here for an automatic yeah. fill valve. What's nice is this little eighth inch line is all we need. Remember, it's just adding water due to evaporation. We're never gonna fill the whole 200 gallon reservoir with this thing, but it'll keep it topped off due to evaporation and splash and etc. etc. It goes all the way back this way through here down along over this way and it's as easy as hooking up to their water garden spigot. 
which is right there. So a lot of times we'll just put a little Y splitter right here so they can still use their garden hose and then the other side would be dedicated to this. But they said they never use this for anything else. So we've got a line 100% dedicated to topping off the pond. Let's turn this on and see what Daniel thinks, if it's funny or not. I don't know what it, reaction I was looking for, but that was funny enough. It was just confusion. I do think it might be in our best interest though to tighten this down just a touch. Call me a plumber. So things are coming right along. We're gonna have a cool little waterfall right here. I've gotta get a bib liner in. As water comes over this rock here, it would hit this bed of gravel, disappear through all that gravel, and then down into our aqua blocks. I really wanna see water come from this area here. We got kind of a natural high spot here, so I'm looking for that water to kind of drop right through here. So in order to do that, I gotta pull some of this back, put in a bib liner, foam everything, and then we'll be set to go. So I'll start on that. These guys are moving right along up there, setting waterfalls, and we'll just kind of come in and start doing our edging. Pretty soon we've got some plumbing to finish up and we'll be good to go. Ooh, nice. <laughs> All right, moving right along. You can see Daniel's buttoning things up over on the edge over here. Edge Master Corey's doing his thing. Jack's got the spillway in up on the top. That's gonna look great, Jack. Just this another one more little waterfall. We were gonna stop here with just a little quick V type waterfall, but we've got one more in there. You can see how Jack's yeah. set that thing. And Jack, show him the trick with the skimmer lid really quick, because not yeah, everybody the, knows this. Something that I didn't know and I'm, I'm blown away. So usually we use a skimmer lid to hide the skimmer and so that'd be, that'd be at the bottom of the pondless waterfall or in, in a or pond, pond in a skimmer yeah. yeah and so actually this fits perfectly over the spillway so what we're gonna do is i dug a little bit of this out and all you gotta do is just we gotta, i gotta dig a little bit more out back here yep slide this back and it fits right over the spillway yeah it's great what i tell a lot of people to do is set the spillway first put the lid on and then set your rocks according to it so you can even spin that thing around and it should fit in some other different ways but yeah, what a great easy that. way to hide the spillway blends in nice enough just like it does in a pond and once we get the landscape back behind this, nobody's gonna know any different. So a quick, easy, easy way to hide the top of the spillway. And then because it's got that undercut lip on it, that little undercut lip there, it hides that little black edge right there really easy. So we might have to tweak it a little bit, but a whole lot easier than finding a round rock that would sit on top of that to make it disappear. And it puts a lot less pressure on the spillway because if you put a heavy rock on it, it sometimes can crush that spillway impeding the water flow. I think what you meant to say is it puts a whole lot less pressure on you. Yeah. To make that look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another little trick. I came in over here. You can see I just have some ground cover, some sedums in here, but our liner is way back in here. So a lot of times I just take fabric. I'll create a little pocket, put the fabric in between here and here, fill this up with soil, and then I can drop these right in there. And then I'll foam back in here so this soil over time doesn't wash down into there. And I might have to put a little foam right in there. But an easy way to soften this up rather than putting more gravel in there. Wherever we can try to put plants, we put plants because plants make or break the whole thing. We're getting there. It's awesome. It's good. We'll do one day build. I think this is where like the whole team maybe stands out the most as far as our showing our mastery of our skills as of now. It's a little late, but we got it all done. I think yeah, everyone did a fantastic job dividing and conquering and that's all I gotta say. Nice right, teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, sir.
So we've got a six aqua block system with a two SLD two to five thousand pump auto dose auto fill four one watt lights about four tons of boulders half a ton three quarters of a ton of gravel handful of plants we landscaped this thing up so it is completely finished a little bit of mulch sprinkled in there and this thing looks phenomenal let me show you what we got it's got about four or five drops in it customers are super ecstatic 12 hours ago this was just a patch of black eyed susans and we have completely transformed this entire space they're gonna get so much enjoyment out of this I can see them already sitting out here. This patio set. They've got a nice little fire pit area over there. Rolling into very early fall, so they're going to be able to sit out here in the cool evenings with the fire pit going, sit back, listen to that noise, that tranquil sound, and just relax. They've got the hardest part of just enjoying it, relaxing, taking it all in. The team has killed it once again, outdone themselves. This thing looks absolutely phenomenal. I know we say that every time, but it really, really, truly does. It's Team crushed it. I'm proud of them. This thing looks amazing. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Continue to like, subscribe, follow us on all social medias. Tell us how this ding dong is. Jack Sparrow, the pond builder. But come on back on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, nine o'clock in the morning. We always upload new videos. We've got a bunch in the queue. Still got quite a bit of the season to come. We got some fun stuff coming this winter as well. With that being said, we're gonna wrap it up and we will see you on the next one.